look what's starting to pop up. My morning glories. I'm using this flowering manual to determine what to do with these seeds. So I'm working on planting some seeds for February, since February is around the corner. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. So I got these clay pots. So I'm gonna try out a couple of seeds with this potting mix. And then I'm putting right now these lanterns in the corners so they look pretty and can give some light at the night. We yeah, have everything's pretty well put together now. Now these are the petunias, so all I need to do for this one is gently put them over the top and just press them with my fingers. I don't actually put them in the soil. That's the best way to get them to grow. Just like that. And these take 10 to 12 weeks to start popping. are also supposed to be indoors for the time being. So here are the salvia blaze of fires. And these grow abundant and bushy, so I put them in the bigger pot. see how well these do. So I put that one there for now and this smaller one here. So we wait and see for the results. I'm gonna go clean up. I put the leftover potting soil in this bag here because I have a couple more pots that I'm gonna start putting more plants, flowers, herbs in when March comes. It's too soon right now.
this is five to six days later. And there's the dahlias, five to six days later. Got a little plant for the table. <laughs> and there are the morning glories growing pretty quickly. And then there is the garden cress. Look how big the rosemary got. It's almost ready for replanting. And there's my chives on day six, finally popping out. I've been plucking these little three leaf clovers, little weeds in between so they don't get in the way. This little bunny lets me get so close to her. She do, She's not scared of me anymore. She just eats her weeds here. And she always hides in that corner during the night. She's really sweet. that car wash it's like a super long tube and it's brand new and it gets it done you know minimal effort anyway I'm super excited today uh, I'm finally getting my roof fixed tomorrow so I can't wait it's supposed to take anywhere between one and three days Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to go somewhere because I can't work while they're banging on the roof all day. The only time I can work is at night. So, I don't know if I should get like a hotel or something or just, I don't really understand what to do to be honest because I do have to work and function. And this week only I am having a special where, it's a one week special where I'm just uploading predictions videos. That means candle wax readings, coffee cup readings, tarot readings on my main YouTube channel. By the way, anyone happening to watch this channel, this is not my main channel, this is my side channel. My main channel is Tony Bomboni ASMR. And so on there I have the predictions of videos. I'm going to do it for a whole week. So I know some people booked custom services on my website, TonyBomboni.com. Links in the description box below. Um, some of y'all booked custom ASMR videos and those will go live on my public ASMR channel after the week special, week long special is over. Okay. So do keep in mind. Thank you very much for your patience, and I appreciate everyone who allows me to post public because it does help me promote my website as well. But I'm hoping this week-long special does something more, you know? And I'm gonna see if it works. If it works, I'm gonna probably do either another week-long special or if it works superb, I'm gonna do a month-long special where it's just a whole month, one entire month of predictions videos I'm going to do variety, so it's still going to be ASMR, it's going to be whispered or soft-spoken, always, like forever. Um, but yes, don't forget guys, when you do book your custom services, you can request them to be in. You can request them to be done in ASMR if you want, so I, I can, you can even request tapping, like a lot of, uh, the, the most frequent requests I get are like, can you please tap on the cards while you 
you know, at least during the beginning or in the end or whatever, during the session, um, while you are doing the booking session for me, or, you know, can you whisper, can you soft whisper, I, I can do it, okay, I've done um, thousands of bookings, and I can do it for you, it's no problem at all, whatsoever, and I'm available every single day, you know, so, yeah, I just got some ice cream, <laughs> And I went to the beach. It was fun. I had a good time. It was really quick, though, because I, I was kind of, like, rushed. Like, as soon as I got to the beach, you guys. Like, I, it must be this Leo full moon. And I usually don't believe in the moon stuff like that, those cycles. Uh, which is ironic, because I believe in tarot and, like, you know, the metaphysical. But that's another story. But as soon as I got to the parking lot on the beach, they called for the roof. So I'm like, ah, I screamed literally like a little girl. Um, yeah, basically... Um, it's all done, like, uh, finally, like, over four months after this hurricane hit, it's all finally done, and I'm, I'm so relieved, like, you have no idea, like, I'll show you how it looks after, but I I'm so relieved, and you know the best part about getting a new roof, and all the hell I've been through with this crap? I don't have to pay for another roof for 15, 20 years, right? Like, you get it new, brand new, you're done. Like, it's fixed. I was so worried about that, like, before the hurricane hit. I was like, oh my god, this new roof's now, they're gonna cost, like, 20, 30, 40,000, you know? And you do have to replace it eventually, especially in Florida, living here. But no, totally covered, totally free. Thanks to Hurricane Ian. <laughs> so... I did promise that once my roof was done, my insurance paid out and everything is settled. I will make a donation to those who were impacted by Hurricane Ian, because as you know, you've been following my journey. God laid it on my heart to do so, uh, even if I was affected. Um, and I felt like that was kind of a push for me to do more of that anyway, because, you know, sometimes I'd be slacking too, you know. Um, you know, like, I'm trying to put my own oxygen mask before I help someone else. But, yeah, I felt led in the spirit to do that. So, look at these seashells I got from the beach. So you can't see. Like, the glare is so strong today. I don't know what, what that's about. But it's, like, one of these, like, little, little things here. So, I always have my black onyx crystal in the car. And a quarter for all these shopping carts. <laughs> I haven't been to all these in like forever. <laughs> you know, I think a poopsie recognized me actually there the other day. I was like, oh. I always get so shy when someone like is like, are you from YouTube? Um, yeah, you guys, uh, thank you very much for your support, for your love. Sending a lot of love back to you. Sending prayers and love. I'm starting to pray every morning, too. Like, it, it, it felt right, you know? It just feels good just to pray in the morning. And just that's, like, a good way to start your day, don't you think? It's kind of a form of meditation as well. I do like to meditate as well, either in the morning or at night. But anyway. <sighs> All right, guys. Um, by the way, always carry singles in your wallet. Because you never know when you're going to need to pay parking fidgeting with things too. I'm almost fidgeting stuff. That's actually a, um, a uh, symptom? No, side effect? What do you call it? Symptom, side effect of autism? I don't know what you call it. A characteristic? A trait? Whatever. And I was always open-minded. Like, people always thought, like, I had autism or whatever, you know? And so I took, like, a, a... Actually, I took three quizzes just to make sure. All three say, most likely I do. And I'm on, like, the... Like, most of them are yes, like, I most likely am, so I'm like, okay, I'm really thinking about, you know, looking into this more, because it makes sense why a lot happens the way it happens in your life, you know, and you're like, oh, okay, I can identify with that, I'm not putting the blame on the label, but I'm identifying myself with something and connecting the pieces, you know, I guess it takes you a long time to really get to know yourself, but sometimes it does help to talk to someone, you know, if needs be, um, but, and then some people thought maybe Asperger's. I don't know. I really don't know. 
but it makes a lot of sense actually it really does and I've been thinking about it for about a couple of years now and what could be what and why could be why but just just a topic but anyway that's that's a like f like fidgeting with stuff like I always have to like you know and the forgetfulness I'm always forgetful like it just makes sense there's so many other things I have a hard time looking people in the eye when I talk to them. <laughs> it's so much. It's just so much. I, and I, I am weird. I'm like a weird, very weird person for sure. Anyway, enough rambling. I'll see you in the next vlog, guys. Bye-bye.